Hello, this is Christian. In this video, we're going to be configuring PHP Storm on a Mac. So these are all the steps that we'll be doing. First, we need to register with the JetBrains.com website, and then we'll download and install PHP Storm. We're going to need to authenticate it using the account you register, and we'll be using PHP Storm to create our first PHP file. We're going to configure the uh, Storm with uh, a interpreter. We need to do that for the first time. Uh, usually, that's just a first time uh, setup and then we'll be running the first file on the server. Okay, so let's go to the browser and go to JetBrains.com website. So just type in JetBrains.com uh, or you can search for it. That should take you there. Now once you are there, just make sure that if you go to the account over here on the right side and you you know register from here, you're not going to get the student account, which is the free account. So make sure you are not going through here and you want to go through the student section. So go back to the home page here. You can go on the browser and type in slash like forward slash student like that. And that should take you to the student site here. Or if you go to the bottom of, of the page on every page you see uh, on the main page, oh, it's not shown here, but on the main page, uh, it's at the bottom of the uh, navigation. So at the very bottom, you will see that there is a link to the student packet a package here. So click that, takes you to the same place. And here you can register, um, apply now, and uh, register using one of these um, options here. So your student, if you're a faculty, you put that here, and then the documents you will need to give or to prove to them that you are a, a one of these um, have one of these statuses. So put your name here, put your school email address and then the country and so forth, check these boxes. Once you apply for that, JetBrain will send you an email to uh, message to your email address here and open that message and, uh, uh, you know, click on it, confirm that's your email address. JetBrain will then take you back to this site again, ask you for a user, I mean, for a password, okay? So once you put your password, confirm it, then you should have an account with JetBrain, okay? So that's just very straightforward registration. After that, you come back to the JetBrain site and you can download any one of the air products for free. So basically, you go to tools and here list all the tools here, okay? And the one we're needing is just the PHP Storm. So if you click on that there, and even though it says 30 day trial, I'm um, don't worry, just download that, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna do it, I already have it. So click and download, okay? It download the installer, and then um, on the Macintosh, let me see if I can get out of here now. So I'm done with this one here. And then the installer, just go install it, just drag it to the application. Once it's installed, after that, you should have access to a PHP Storm icon. If it's not, it should be inside the app folder. Inside here, you should see a PHP Storm. And um, so right here, okay. Open that one there. If you click and open it, for the first time that you're using PHP Storm or any of their products, uh, it's going to prompt you to authenticate your account. Uh, if you don't do that, then you have the 30-day trial <clears throat> version. Okay, so it's going to take a little while to uh, to load. Okay, so here in this pop-up screen here, it needs to um, activate my account. So make sure you use the activate using the JetBrains account. Uh, since you don't have any other options, if you do use those, but otherwise use just the email that you will use. And I use my uh, old email account with JetBrain already. And so you put your password and you have to activate that. If it's successful, then you will have access to PHP Storm for a whole year. So as you can see, I have until the end of next year in June or June 5th of next year. Okay, so it's running PHP now. So next time we run PHP Storm, it's not gonna ask you for that license again. And if you have other products, email may not ask you because they are all related. So you may not be asked that again. If you do, just configure, uh, authenticate it again. Okay, so now uh, you need to create a new project for the first time. If you have an existing one, you can go, you can go and open here or create a new project from existing files. Usually new project for now. So create new, and where are you going to store your project? Okay, for now, 
uh, it's defaulted to this location under my username uh, PHP storm projects and then the default name is untitled so I'm just gonna go here and put um, PHP fundamentals okay that is the project folder now if you're running from PHP storm it doesn't matter where you store your files okay if you are running outside of PHP storm it matters so sometimes it's usually it's nice to put inside the HT docs inside the MAMP folder okay so uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that so instead of putting here you can open this file and open that uh, folder and navigate to the applications and the MAMP folder so if you go there now go to applications I highly recommend this way so you can have access to both areas so go to MAMP inside the HT docs okay remember we did a test in the other video this is the folder where you want to store your file so inside here then I'm going to create a new folder and we'll call it PHP fundamentals this is a project folder okay this is the project folder I'm going to use to store all my projects inside the HT docs so open that and this is what I'm going to use it so go ahead and create that folder and uh, the reason why I use this, I'll show you in a minute, is because if you are using MAMP, you can run directly from the local host uh, through through MAMP outside of PHP Storm. But again, PHP Storm has its own built-in server, so it doesn't matter where you store. Um, it's just better that way. So here on the left side is my folder it tells me where exactly it's located inside applications the map HD docs is uh, and, and PHP fundamentals right now there's nothing here so I want to create a, a new file right click on it and uh, create a new PHP file and we'll just call it uh, index for now and you don't have to put an extension it will be it will add it for you automatically so this is a default here so I'm gonna go here and type in echo Welcome to my first PHP file, something like that, okay? And then terminate with the semicolon. Okay, uh, you may realize that my screen is much larger than yours maybe, or the, the font here. You can configure this. Uh, you can see that if I um, hold down the control key and do, usually hold a control key or something, yeah, and you, you spin your little mouse ball if you have one, then that should reduce the size and increase the size and so forth. So we're gonna do a little config configuration here. If you don't have the line numbers here, which I think you do, the older versions do not have it by default, you have to turn these on, but you need these line numbers to show you where uh, how, you know where errors are and then later on when you have errors, it's gonna pinpoint exactly to what line number in your code. So it helps a lot for debugging. Okay, so uh, if you don't have the menu up here, usually it's, the, it's not visible. It's maybe, you know, like that. You can always turn it on by right-clicking on it. And um, it should be a tool. If you don't see here, which I don't see it, um, then you can always go to the uh, view and turn on the toolbar here. Okay, so it's a shortcut. And one of these icons here is the wrench. The wrench is the setup or the, the preference for Mac. Or you can also go to a uh, file and under here you have like a settings yeah the settings are right here where is it at um either the oh i'm getting the wrong place maybe edit yeah i can't find it um it's it's somewhere here i i know it's here somewhere oh i mean php storm preferences yeah maybe preferences so that's going to take you to the uh, setup page okay and this place here so if I close it again if I go and click the tool at the wrench it takes you to the same place here so here you have you know configuration options for your uh, storm under the appearance here you can click on that and change the theme right now I'm using the light version here you have I think three options here the dark hula here is like the dark right you click on that you click apply down here you see that it's a dark version so some people prefer this way 
and this is a very common uh, setup for uh, most IDEs like in Visual Studio Code but I'll just use the i am use the light version here and then um, again just a few things here play with it if you want to um, I'm not gonna go through all of that but the the editor here if you click the editor go to the general here and if this is not checked okay yours may not check so change font size zoom with the command plus mouse wheel so if you click on that one if you press your command button plus the mouse wheel you can change the font size here so soft wrap just turn all on for wrapping your, your code uh, the font here yours may be set to 12 which is pretty tiny like this okay so I, I you can make it really large like 20 or 25 even so that it's much larger when you, when you type and usually if I do videos I'll make it really big like this so you can see easy so I usually use 20 or 25 like this and so on okay so um, I think that's all you need for now and I click OK and then let's save this file okay control S to save it and run it to run it you can just go to the right side of your file you have these options here these are the browsers that you have installed or may not install depending on your machine and if you're on a Mac, you probably use a Safari or uh, one of these. So let's just say I'm going to use Chrome for now. I click on Chrome, try to run it. Okay, it's going to load the local host here with the port number 63342. This is the default port number for PHP Storm. You can change this if you want to, the configuration. But again, we don't need to do that because that's just something else completely. We only change it if you have a uh, some type of interference with another program. Otherwise, you can keep it as default. And then the file name, the directory, which we just created here. Notice it does not go all the way from application, mem, htdocs, and so forth, right? It starts exactly where your file is in this directory. So the, this is the root directory of your uh, program. And then the, the fundamentals here is the actual folder. Inside here is the index. So this is the index here. And then you have a question mark followed by a key value pair. This is just a session ID that is configured in... Um, uh, created by PHP Storm, PHP Storm to make your file unique. So just leave that alone. Um, so, but you can see that it has a problem. I have file to back configuration. That means you cannot reach this file. It cannot run or something, right? And if you look at down here on the bottom of your screen, you have something called PHP Interpreter is not configured. So we need to configure this inside PHP Storm. So I'm going to go and close this for now, and go back and fix this problem. And then you can just click this link here to go and fix it. So I can go and click that link. It takes you back to the configuration file, except you don't have the other menu, just this file here. Okay. Um, so you click on that, and then you need to find the CLI, the interpreter. As you can see, there's none. I had one here because I happened to do that uh, in a different machine, so I have a different. Uh, um, times I had it installed but you should have nothing here and I'll show you how to add a new one in the drop down up here the language level is defaulted to 5.6 we want to use something newer so click on the drop down and hopefully you have these installed if you install um, usually your Mac has PHP installed also but once you install MAMP you should have these installed as well so we want to use at least 7 or higher so you can put 7 or 7.1 uh, it doesn't matter uh, I can use 7.1 here and then the CLI, you need to go into the click the ellipsis here. Click that. We need to add that here. So this is already existing. You should not have this. You have something like that. Okay, so if I do this, if I go back here, you see that in the drop down, there is uh, none. Okay, first time you see like this. So go here and we need to add one. So click the plus sign here. And we don't use use the one that has in the user bin here because this one doesn't have a um, in my machine it doesn't have the uh, PHP uh, initialization or configuration file. We don't want that, so we're gonna go to the other local here. So click other local, and the name you can call whatever you want. I'm just calling PHP, so you know. And then the executable is inside that PHP file or the um, PHP executable inside the main folder. Okay, so click the folder here. The folder icon and we need to navigate to the applications so go to applications here under the MAMP folder oops it should not do that it should go into the MAMP folder okay so let's do it again applications MAMP inside the MAMP you have a, uh, a, a bin folder 
the binary folder, click the bin folder, and you have PHP, click the PHP, and then you have these versions. So I'm going to use the latest one, which is 7.3. So click that 7.3, and then again go into the bin folder. This is we have your executable. So click the one that says PHP, and it should say PHP executable. As you can see, it's pretty long, right? So it's, it's quite long. You just have to follow where the uh, PHP is installed. So again, go to uh, Applications, uh, MAMP, under the bin for binary. And the binary, you have all your applications in there under the PHP. And then choose the version you want. You want one of the latest version, 7.3. And then and the binary version of that folder of that, 7.3 click the PHP file. If you use the older version 7.2, I mean different release, it looks similar, okay? It's still going to be the same thing and again you can use that if you want. But uh, we're going to use the latest one. So 7.3, bin, and then PHP. And then click open. And if it's all, all there, you'll see everything should turn green or blue, I guess, right? So no red uh, exclamation marks and so forth. So if you see exactly what we see here, you are good to go because we need the config php.ni file. And then just click apply, or you can just click OK and OK back out to the file here. So now if you run it again, you should be able to see the result of the file on, on the server here. If you see this again, um, you may like it's it's caching issue, just reload it again. Okay, reload a few times. And there so there it is. Okay, so we're working now on PHP Storm using port number 63343. All right. If you want to use this from MAMP, then notice that MAMP was not on. I did not turn MAMP on. So usually, if I let me just copy this, well, if it changes, remember that MAMP used port 8, um, is 8888. Okay, that's MAMP's port number. If you click that, you see it's not working because we did not turn on MAMP. So if you turn on MAMP, uh, ac activate that. And um, if I go into and turn on the server, so so MAMP runs on port 8888, and PHP Storm runs on 6334. To forgot what it was. Okay, so here is the MAMP version, right? 8888. And if I go back to the other one here, if I refresh this file, you see that it's working as well using the uh, the port 8884. Uh, the map. And the reason why it works is because we save our files in the HT docs inside the folder, right? So if you remember, let me go back to the uh, desktop here and uh, go in here inside the applications, inside map, inside the HT docs is where you have PHP fundamentals, right? So this one here links to that URL here. In the fundamentals, we have the index.php here. Okay, so you kind of like have access to the file in both ways, through MAMP server, the server to MAMP, or through PHP Storm. Now, this is no longer PHP Storm because it's a different port. Okay, so if I go back to PHP Storm and run this again on the same browser, you see it has a different port number. See so back to the 63342, this is PHP Storm, this is MAMP. All right, so, uh, and and the difference is, you know, so you don't have to switch back and forth. If you're using the MAMP here, if you create a new file here, call it, you know, index2, you have to go back here um, to the uh, browser and then uh, switch between that into the other one. So. For some reason, I'm I'm not really good with Mac, and I can't find my files very easily as I do with Windows. So I do apologize. Um, so I have to go here and then open my Chrome. So if you're using the map, you have to go and manually change the file to say index two, index three, or whatever it is to find the files, which is not as 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 quick. With PHP Storm, you don't have to worry about that because whatever you file, whatever you call it here. Just run it, it finds it, it loads it, and it works. So that's all there is for to it. So if you have any questions, if it, if it still doesn't work, uh, please let me know.